My nose itches. Ah, damn it, this is not the time, body. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac. Afterbirth Plus. It's Maggie time. It's Maggie time. Rotation streak continues. What an awkward first room here. Use a speed up pill. Looking forward to this day. Looking forward to this day using this, uh. Using this character, Maggie. Potential to be amazing, potential to be bad. Who knows? Uh, it's. It's not what I want out of my first item room as Maggie, but you know what? I do quite like the evil eye. I still think that I'm one of the, uh. Interesting. I do feel like I'm one of the people out there who, uh, likes this item a bit more than other people. I do quite like the evil eye, but it's it's definitely not an upgrade you want to get on your first item room. I think maybe, like, it's a good item to get once you've gotten a decent run going already. But you never, you never can tell the game what to give you. What an unfortunate situation there. Try to get this guy to kill his own flies, please, but he's not going to. Instead, I'm going to just take some damage. Took a lot more damage on this fight than I probably would have. Oh, there's spiders. Oh, dear God, there are spider webs. I did not see the spider webs. I should have seen the spider webs. That was the cost of a half a heart. The rest of that damage was just me being a dumbass. A, a freaking orbital here. Also, what a splendid first floor. Can I just say this is a great first floor? That's not me being salty. That's me being realistic. Mmm. That Robo Baby. I do like Robo Baby. This is one of those rooms where Robo Baby can show his, uh, his true use. Really gonna try my absolute best to not lose what precious chance of a deal we have here. And by that, I mean I'm gonna try and find any type of bomb would be fantastic, by the way. I don't know if you know this, but bombs are, bombs are pretty useful when it comes to getting, uh, spirit hearts. Soul heart, spirit hearts, whatever you call them. Bombs are useful in getting us uh, some tinted rocks. Oh, well, baby, this is your time to shine. You are not doing nearly as much as I would like you to, but that's okay. What a turd filled floor. I'd actually rather fight the dips than a bunch of spiders. Still no bombs. Captain's log. Week 76. Still no bombs. No bombs needed. We are a god. You might be like, Penta, why are you rushing so much? I'm rushing because there are two bombs right there. I'm rushing because there's no reason for me to hang out on this floor any longer. Oh, I mean... One bomb for two bombs, to bang to bang, diggy diggy, and then possibly Cricket's head. Birdfoot's pretty good. I don't know if it's exactly our game winner here, but hey, speak of the devil, got some spiders. It's the cellar, and we haven't seen very many spiders. It was about time for them to show up. It is a pin fight. Pretty stoked about the fact that I could just annihilate pin with my ball of bandages. Get an old bandage. Fantastic. We'll use the yum heart right away. That's plenty unfortunate. I will take the damage here. Oh dear, alright, this is a exciting start to a Maggie run. I feel like the commentary is falling on its heels, mostly because my tongue hurts. Uh, 
kind of bit my tongue. I bit my tongue while I was eating at work today. And so I have a giant sore, like a bite, like a toothy bite mark. You ever bite the side of your tongue? Like, oh, my tongue is way too fat for my mouth. Why did I bite my tongue? That was such a silly decision for me to make. Look, I didn't bite my tongue on purpose, okay? Sometimes the tongue just, oh dear lord. Sometimes the tongue just gets in the way, you know? Sometimes that's just how life throws its lemons at you. Ansys here was a great idea, because I would not have gone this way. Goddamn fat bat. Oh, please. Oh, ooh, there it is. That's fine. I don't care. I slightly care, because I knew this was going to happen. God, fuck. God, Jesus. Mother and Christ, this run. Oh, we're starting off on a very awkward foot. Which was my nickname in high school. It was also like the much aboard sequel to Edward Scissorhands. Awkward foot hands. God, lump of coal is our best item we have. That's like really shitty. <laughs> and lump of coal is the best item we have on this run. Three floors in. That is not where you want to. That's not where you want to sit, especially on a Maggie run. That is not where you want to sit. You typically want to sit in row one, uh, cheering on your favorite Beyonce. Oh, it's just horrible. But yet, in a very strange way, okay. Goathead is amazing. That was unfortunate, but we have Goathead, so I don't give a damn about damage anymore. I don't care about damage anymore. Which is nice, because I don't have to give a damn about damage. Instead, I can just, like, walk into shit with my ball of bandages now. And now that I have Goathead, I am definitely not keeping the sprinkler. Also, because I took, like, a thousand damage in that room for no reason, but that's okay. Ah, oh, fucking tongue. There have been more mouth issues lately that I'm, you know, very unfortunate to have happened to me. It started with, like, a goddamn canker sore a couple weeks ago. And then I oh, bit my tongue. My mouth is not having a good year. Technically, I'm just not having a good year, but my mouth is part of me, so it's okay. <sighs> We're having a great pill pool as well. That's just something that begs to be uh, noticed, is that our pill pool is just amazing so far. Hyperstess. Hyperdress, as I call it sometimes. And by sometimes, I mean I've literally never called it before th uh, that before this moment in time. You know what position I'm in where I don't even care about... I don't even care about the items in the shop. <laughs> Come on. Don't do it to me. You did it to me. Old bandage. Old bandage. Come on. Oh, the backpack is so bad, though. I'll buy this. I'll buy this. And I'll play this more. I'm not going to play him. Okay. Liven it up, Penta. Liven it up. The YouTube audience is waiting for you. They're hungry for their commentary. Not that they're listening anyway. They're probably sleeping. 
If you use my videos or streams as a lullaby, I'm a huge fan of you. You know, honestly... I don't have any bombs. Oh, I don't have any bombs. It sucks. But it stayed open. Please stay open. My god. It's the one time. It's the one time. Oh, baby. Fight me. This is insanely dangerous, but you know what? I'm all good. That was very, very poor play. Should not be fighting both of them. Use that book of, uh, book of bandages as much as I possibly can. Book of bandages? Ball of bandages. It had to be one of the two. Cannot understate Binky and Holy Grail here. Both fantastic. Uh, you know what? Why not? Oh, it's a verp. Gives us a double addicted. So happy that happened. What a splendid occasion. <laughs> Door stayed open again. Oh, we have goat head. You fucking tool. Of course. And here come the comments. You didn't even realize you're goat head for like the 90th time. I get it. Sometimes I'm a derp, all right? Sometimes I'm a derp, you just gotta accept it. Damn, no old bandage there. Uh, I don't have any bombs, so secret room is Tata. By Tata, I don't mean the friendly boobins. I mean Tata as in farewell. Yeah, I never referred to boobs as Tatas. Apparently it's like a very uh, common tit name, tit moniker. Never call them tatas. I may have like in jest before, but not to my knowledge. I have flight. Gotta remember that. Gotta remember that, Penta. The comments are gonna eat you alive if you don't. The amount of the amount of nickels though is crazy. The the sheer amount of nickels we're getting out of this is insane. Uh This is very unfortunate. But I think, I think we're gonna be fine. Excuse me. Oh, I didn't even see you here, my friend. Yeah, yeah, you're totally a guy that I didn't notice. Item room. Ooh, yes, I will take Cancer Trinket. And by Cancer Trinket, I mean Cancer Item. Uh, the Warp Vessel, not exactly something I'm interested in right now. A two cent heart, however. I don't remember what that pill was. I think that's the... Verp. Oh... And now we've won. Still taking dumb damage, though, as is expected. The black rune is so good. Yeah, this took this turned. Yeah, this this has just become like easy mode now. Remember when fucking bombs used to have such a small radius for explosion? I remember. Bombs used to explode like one rock in if it was even slightly off angle. So long ago, man. Makes me feel like an old man. I used to play vanilla Isaac before everything. Freaking hipster Isaac player. Get out of here. I don't know why I'm doing this. 
I have several shops left. What am I doing? Get out of here, dude. The cricket... <sighs> the cricket. The cricket binky. So for every shitty item we got on the first three floors has been made up in the last, you know, floor and a half. Not even floor and a half. Yeah, floor, like, Binky was a boss boss room. Holy Grail was angel room. Cricket was golden chest. Cancer was item room. Like, in the last floor and a half, this game has completely made up for everything. Because you never want to admit that lump of coal is your best item on th floor three. That's just not something you want to do. Going into floor four, you don't want to have lump of coal and nothing else. This isn't some, like, Isaac Challenge Run channel. We did that for a while. Did not go over very well. They're kind of boring. Not just because, like, the challenges themselves are boring, but also because when people think of a cool, or what they, uh, they, what they imagine as a cool challenge, like, oh my god, this would be so fun to watch my favorite Isaac player you do, you don't really put into thought the actual challenge could be garbage, and a lot of the times they're pretty bad. A lot of times they're, like, I would say, and on average, when I did my challenge run stuff, on average, no names, of course, on average, like, seven out of every ten that were suggested to me had, like, no thought put into them. You should just play as the Lost with only soy milk and beat Delirium. It's like, okay, guys, I can tell that this is something that you've, you've put a lot of thought into. I don't even care if I walk into you. I'm so good right now. I'm so good right now. Spectral tears. It's a welcome it's a welcome addition to our party. Don't even care. Come at me, bitch. Ooh, that's really good. That's really good, actually. Because that means every heart we pick up, we have a chance of getting... Or not, we don't have a chance, but like for X amount of hearts we get, we're going to just be getting familiars. I don't know if you guys know how this works. We're going to be getting some familiars, because we have a lot of ability to pick up hearts on this run right now. Maggie's Faith is not something I'm interested in right now. That is, but I don't have the bombs. Thank you very much, Dead Dove, for providing me wonderful Spectral Tears. Oh, God, ladies and gentlemen, do not bite your tongue ever. Here's a fun question. Question of the day. What would you rather what would you rather have happen to you? Bite your tongue or stub your toe? Cause I think stubbing the toe is one of those things that people are like, oh that's just like one of the worst feelings in the world is stubbing your toe because it like hurts like a goddamn fucking I don't even can't can't even come up with an example, but it, stubbing your toe sucks, right? No one likes stubbing their toe. But like the lasting effects of a bit tongue sucks so hard because I bit my tongue a day ago. Exactly like 25 hours ago as of this point. I can tell it's nearly healed, but it's such a sharp pain every time I talk because it's like right on the side of my tongue. Because obviously I bit my tongue, so it's on the side of your tongue. It's on the side of the tongue. And so just talking, it rubs against my teeth and it makes my world and a living nightmare. For like two or three days, depending on how often I bump it and, you know, peel the fucking fleshy module off of it, which is, if you guys don't know how things heal, that's how they heal. Uh, you know, it's like if you have a canker sore or, you know, a scab, picture a scab. Nice, relax. Picture a scab. You know, when the, when the skin heals over it, the blood coagulates. 
or the blood coagulates, and then the skin heals over it, and new flesh appears. And that is, yeah, you know, this is blank root target, or black root target. Damage and shot speed, I'm happy with that. Um, it's exactly what happens on your tongue, except it's a much more sensitive and frequently used area of your body, especially if you're a fucking YouTuber or streamer who talks a great portion of their day away. There's no reason to be in here. Lover's card. It's fine. Is this the last uh, little depth? No, it isn't. So we're just going to move on. But yeah, that's uh, the story of my... Uh, the story of my tongue right now is that I'm just in a living hell. Steam sale's fantastic. We could have had a double steam sale earlier, but that's fine. I don't think anybody's going to get mad at me for missing out on a double steam sale. It's not like I've ever made that mistake before in my life. Brownie. Fortunately, one of those brownie fights that's going to be a piece of cake. Just due to our last floor and a half of items. Mostly cricket, let's be honest. Mostly cricket. Because, you know, car battery's fantastic, but what's it doing for us right now? Absolutely nothing. The soul is a wonderful item. I do have goat head, so I'm going to go buy a bomb. Why do I not have a bomb? Is there a bomb in the shop? There's not a bomb in the shop. Where is Penta going to get a bomb? I would love to bomb that angel. He'll drop a bomb. That's a penny. That's a bomb. All right, let's go fight our angel. Yeah, I think I would rather stub my toe against a brick of concrete every single day to never bite my tongue again. <laughs> I think I would go that far. Oh man, fucking biting your tongue is the worst feeling, man. Biting your tongue doesn't even hurt. It's just the fact that if you bite your tongue the right way and that fucking wound appears, it's just awful. I mean, it's second time. Second time's a charm, right? And we're now a seraphim, which means we are flying times three. We can fly so many times. It's unbelievable. So I have a 1080 Ti graphics card in its box, and I've had it for a while now, and I've refused to install it just because time is not on my side. I just I don't have time to do it. Great, that's wonderful, but at least we know we have it. A sacrifice room would be amazing right now. Even though it wouldn't, because I have only mantle and that makes sacrifice rooms a living nightmare, but that's okay. But I have a 1080 Ti. It's like an insanely good graphics card uh, for just like modern PCs. Obviously, there's like the 2080 that just got announced or whatever, or just came out or whatever. Uh, a lot of people are super stoked for that, but I'm, I've, I've, I've had a, a double 970 set up, or double 980? Double 970 set up for a long time. In fact, since I built my computer, like, what, three years ago? I've had double 90, a double 970. Uh, two 970s, I would say, is like on par with pretty much one card of the modern cards that just came out. Uh, because if you run an SLI shit and you have two cards... Oh, they do give, they gave me it. I'm gonna find the item room first. Uh, they did give me a sacrifice room, which I'm stoked about. But yeah, the 970s are a great card. But one of my 970s actually got wounded like a year ago. It's hard to believe that it's actually almost been a year. Eh, it was like November. So it's not quite a year. But still, one of my cards got wounded... And there was an issue with it, and I, instead of, like, getting it fixed and shit, I'm just a dumbass and took it out and just set it on a table and forgot about it completely. <laughs> That's really good, actually. Uh, and I should do the smart thing and take care of it, right? But, uh, time's not on my side. Pokego is fine. Nightlight is fine. I don't have any more money, but I would like to buy some more stuff. Um, but yeah, I have I have a 970 right now. So instead of you know fixing my 970, which I could very well have done, I figured why not upgrade it? Uh, the cards were on sale anyway for the, the Prime Day bullshit that went on during I believe July. 
Uh, but it could have been August. I don't know. If it was July, that means I've had this card for a while now. Uh, but anyway, I bought the card. And I have yet to install it. And I'm thinking this weekend is going to be the time, the final, finally going to be the time where I install it and, you know, make use of my beautiful card that I spent multiple hundreds of dollars on. And, uh, I'm stoked. I'm quite stoked, Rip Boneheart. I'm quite stoked. Honestly, Small Rock? Nah. Because... I think... I, I mean, I don't really think that I'm going to need a graphical upgrade, because I don't really think I need a graphical upgrade in any way, shape, or form yet, but I do enjoy the fact that there is just going to be a new piece of equipment in my computer. A newer piece of equipment in my computer, because realistically, I have not modulated my computer since I built it. I've not added any new RAM, I've not added... Like, my computer is the fucking cat's ass. And, granted, it's, she's getting a little old, she's getting up there in age, and there's some stuff that needs to get upgraded or removed or replaced or what have you, but... On the grand whole of things, she's still the fucking cat's ass. This computer has gotten me through a lot of hard times, a lot of good times. She's a freaking beast when it comes to just processing power, graphical power. It's a very good computer. But getting that new, that new freaking card in here, it's just gonna, it's gonna make me feel giddy inside. It's just gonna make me feel giddy. It's like, congratulations, my love. You now have a new thing. Right? I think any computer owner feels that way when they get a new piece of equipment they can put in. It's just like, oh my god. It's like it's like having a car or... I was going to say a wife, but that's that's not... You, you don't buy, like... I mean, well, some people buy, like, tit upgrades for their wives, but I don't. Uh, I don't have a wife. But... Anyway. What was I saying? Uh, it was so much money now. But you can the habit restock they did it they gave me the thing ah oh, the double steam sale rip me anyway but yeah you could uh I don't know what I was talking about it just, it's gonna feel nice getting my graphic card put in there. It's gonna feel really nice getting a new piece of, like, hardware put into my computer for the first time since I bought it, because I love my computer. I think we're going to the darkroom this time. I love my computer, but for fuck's sake, it's gonna feel really nice to get some more shit added into it. I feel really strong right now. <laughs> uh, thankfully, I do have a pretty big backlog of the Isaac series. I mean, as of me recording this video, the rotation or the random streak hasn't even ended yet. So, I I have time if I need to take time off of making videos just for my my mouth to heal, which makes me feel. Like an old man saying that. Man, I'm gonna take time off for my mouth to heal. But no, I gotta take time off for my fucking stupid ass. Tob I'm a toddler and I bit my freaking tongue to heal. Careful, Scotty. Remember to chew your potatoes. And then he just bites his tongue like an idiot. I think I was in the middle of talking too. Which is just gross. You should never talk with your mouth full, but I was in the middle of, like, I was making a joke or something, and I was just like, oh, shit! And they're like, oh, you're right? I'm like, I bit my fucking tongue! This is the worst feeling. Having my joke completely interrupted by me biting my tongue, and also the fact that I bit my tongue. There are, like, very few things I think of in this world that I would rather have happened to me. I mean, there are, there, there are very few things in this world that... Like, 
to this degree anyway. Uh, that bite in the tongue is, is, is better than, you know? Like stubbing toe. I think I'd rather stub my toe. Oh, Super Meepo is going to make doing this uh, death list pretty hard. But that did give us a tears up, which I didn't even know death list could do. Or I did know, and I just completely had forgotten. Like that gave me a uh, balls of steel. Nice. That gave me a damage up. Don't give me a shot speed up. This gives me a trinket, which I'm not really interested, but I guess I'll take this over that. Seven seals is garbage. We've established this a thousand times. It's a trash item and no one should ever use it. Uh, I'm absolutely going to take the tick over the rotten penny. Or over, yeah, over mom's, mom's pearl. Definitely a better idea. Stoked for this rotation streak, man. I'm real... We, we've been over this. I'm disappointed in the way that the the random streak ended because of just how silly the death was. But that kind of adds the comedic you know, part to it. It's like, it was hilarious the way it happened. But in the same regard, uh, I was so confident that we could have beaten my, uh, my streak. My, my record, which, you know, at the time, I believe my record, uh, not even at the time, I believe my record still stands as uh, 34 for random. I know rotation is 27. For a fact, rotation is 27. It was in a Polyon run. I died to my uh, own miscounting on the sacrifice room. Really sucked. But everybody makes mistakes. Ooh, Parasite's so good. Explosivo is really nice, but, like, go for broke. Go for absolute broke here. Ouija board, we already got Spectral. Mullig, fuck, don't care. Dark Bomb, fuck it, get out of here. You know what? I will take the Pop a Fly. Pop a Fly greater than Dark Bomb in every single aspect. That's mostly just to get the comments riled up and upset. Uh, yeah, no. You could not have given me a worse set of three trinkets. I mean, the Faded Polaroid is quite good, but definitely not something that I'm stoked about having on my every average run. Oh, my fucking tongue, man. I made a lot of dumb mistakes in my uh, in my streaks. A lot of my dumbest... Or I, hilariously enough, a lot of my streaks ended with me being sub sufficiently dumb. Uh, like this last one, miscounting on the freaking, uh, the sacrifice room plays, which is like what I, like, it's my fucking bread and butter is a sacrifice rooms. So that one kind of burnt me out. That one was like a real tough one to lose on because I was like, wait, I got the, I got the count, count, counting wrong? What? And then I just watched everything crumble in, in my own hands. Like a goddamn sad statue. Fucking system of a down, sad statue of liberty. Got that jote head. I will definitely take this. Why? When it's literally spectral of the night and uh, or spirit of the st spectral. I'll take the shade as well. Shade as well. Considering I have literally every effect of spirit of the night. I don't know. For the lulls. Because I'm an idiot and it's just a good item and I forgot that I was... Already had everything that it offered. Maybe it's because I knew I would be getting a Yera on this floor. And therefore would be getting eight more items on the dark room. I'm not a wizard, thanks for asking though.
Wizoobs are a fucking nightmare in uh, the Four Souls game, man. They make you... They force your opponent to discard one of their soul cards, which is one of the ways you... Which is the way you win. I shouldn't say one of the ways you win. It is the way you win the game, is to have four souls, as the name dictates. Or suggests, rather. And, uh, yeah, the Wazoob. Just by killing the Wazoob, you force a player to discard their... One of their soul items. One of their soul cards. Very rude effect, but I love it. And I've used it to my advantage on a couple of our games. I do hope to play... Continue playing that until the release of the physical version, and then potentially even continue playing the digital version after the physical version comes out, because... Unfortunately, you know, such as the life of a YouTuber and a streamer in today's day and age is... I don't actually have a lot of people, aside from, like, my dad, who would play the game with me. And, you know, my dad... And this is, this is gonna sound horrible, because you don't actually have to know anything about Isaac to play the Four Souls board game. But there is a certain charm to playing it with, like, a Widzy or a Jonas, where we're all fucking Isaac nerds, and we're like, Oh my god, it's this item, or this creature, oh, oh shit, this is the one, but... At its core, it's still just a board game, and I can play with my dad. I can definitely play with my dad. I also don't need keys because this is the dark room. Be a lot of fucking bombs here. Multiple items. I'm actually stoked about the cursed eye here. Cursed eye 2020. I don't know if this is spun. It is not spun. Uh, I mean, if I... I mean, I'm just gonna... I guess I just take this. Uh, and I take this. Then we just go fight the Mega Stan. Oh dear. Holy mantle is gone. <laughs> The Parasite 2020 Cursed Eye is just disgusting right now. Par and the Evil Eye as well is just... The Evil Eye on top of literally everything else is just overpowered as Christ. Anyway. Thank you all so much. For watching. I didn't even get a chance to go into Delirium, which I would not have anyway, because I just spawned on top of the chest. But thank you so much. That is two in a row. Moving on to Kane. It's gotta be Kane. Even though I died as Kane last time, or as I, to end our random streak. But thank you. I'll catch you later.